Secretary Kissinger gave us a report of his mission to the Middle East, his estimate, prognosis for the future, and touched on a variety of problems, including the Greece-Turkey problems, organization in the Foreign Service, uh, the law of the sea, and uh, in general gave it was a very satisfactory and helpful meeting for the committee. No question about this. I think that both sides, Republicans and Democrats on the committee, were not only impressed, as we always are, by the Secretary's grasp of the situation, but his extraordinary effort to bring the Congress into cooperative uh, relationship with the executive in these matters. And we fully approve of this. And I would add that by, so, by it was reiterated throughout the meeting the faith, affection, and regard the individual committee members had, or the committee had, for the Secretary. Mr. Secretary, did you explain to the committee why the administration is asking for more military aid for Cambodia when the administration's basic assessment is that Cambodia will go under in any event? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't share that, that basic assessment. I explained to the committee uh, our reasons for asking for aid uh, to Cambodia. Which but I don't have? agree. Well, I've explained those at a press conference the other day. Well, there's a story that Secretary Schlesinger believes Cambodia will go in any event, and that you believe that the chances are no better than 50-50 that it will survive. I pointed out at the press conference that I thought the situation in Cambodia was grave. And I raised the question whether, it, whether the United States could, can afford not to send ammunition to its friends in, the, in a moment of extremity. And I explained the reasons uh, in a similar vein to the committee. Mr. Secretary, in any discussion you had in the Middle East, uh, did you give them and could you give us an assessment of the meetings of the Saudi Arabian foreign minister here and why no agreement has been announced on trade? Was this influenced well, uh, by the discrimination charges against the Arabs? The, uh, it's the Saudi Arabian finance minister here. Uh, I met with him at noon, and I'm not aware of any difficulties in the discussions. Uh, he professed to be extremely satisfied with the discussions. In fact, I'm not aware that there's any, any problem. I think you're, uh, you may be jumping to you. I know you're jumping to conclusions. Mr. Secretary, is there anything to report on the Cyprus? <laughs> and the question of uh, military assistance. Well, uh, you know the view of the administration, which I have explained before, that aid to Turkey is given in the interest of Western security, that the cutoff of aid to Turkey hinders uh, the Cyprus negotiations as well as jeopardizing Western security and our earnest hope that the Congress will enable us to resume aid and to become again effective in the negotiation. Could you comment, Mr. Secretary, on the Arab boycott list? Uh, I know you probably well, commented uh, on it before. But no, I have stated publicly at the press conference, at my press conference, and of course the President stated it very strongly yesterday, that the United States opposes the uh, principle of boycott based on uh, religious or racial grounds, and that it will do its best to oppose it.